2019, women in hip hop are getting the shine they deserve more than ever. And with so many female rappers on the rise, they've got their own keys to success. But a little help never hurts. Here are a few rising female rappers sharing the best advice they've received from other rappers in the game. I think the best advice that I ever got from a rapper was from hmm, hmm, hmm. Yachty's very wise, Earl Sweatshirt is very wise, Tierra Whack is very wise. So all of those people have been the ones to give me the valuable like lesson in life to just stop stop caring what they say about you. Like you're lit. Don't give a fuck. So I, I definitely don't give a fuck. T Grizzly gave me some some good like cocky advice. Um we was in a studio, we was working on our song called Free Co. We was working on our song. Um, and then I was like, yo, you never did a song with a girl before. And he was like, nah. And I'm like, oh that's that's lit, that's what's up. I always knew I was gonna be the first. To, uh, to do a song with you. He was like, what? I'm like, yeah, it's like, we both be in our bags. I'm like, yeah, I always knew that. Cause I really did, like, I really always said I was gonna do a song with T Grizzly. But I never wanted to say nothing to him. Cause I wanted to, I don't know, but he said something to me first, but he was like, um, what? I'm like, yeah. He was like, he was like, who you been doing songs with? I'm like, nah, I really ain't been doing songs with nobody. It's before I had like a, like the feature that I got now. Um, I was like, nah, I really ain't been doing songs with nobody and stuff like that. He was like, yeah, don't. Protect your crowd, um, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to do songs with everybody. Just be yourself, be you, and just go crazy. So when he said that, I took it and ran with it, and I just and I and I, it made me feel good on myself because I remember back then I wouldn't, I didn't want to. I just like I didn't want to. It just like I wasn't like pressed to do songs with nobody, like nobody. So it made me feel good about myself because I feel like I was doing, I was acting like that for a reason. You know what I'm saying? I was being real selfish with my craft and with my with my career. So it just made me feel good about myself. So. The best advice I've ever gotten from a rapper was probably um, Yachty told me, like on our first tour, we was just talking and he was just like, yo, you always got to be in the know of what's going on with your situation. You always got to know what's going on and be locked in, like with your team and just everything. Be locked in. Lobo. <laughs> the best advice I've received, that would have to be cashed out. She gave me the best advice. Like I was a hothead when I first started, so she, she calmed me down like she a boss ass bitch. So it just makes me feel like if I'm out here beefing, I'm a bum ass, bother ass, miserable ass. You know what I'm saying? Like you bothering other people, you bothered, period. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's the best advice. Stay to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Worry about self. That's just period. <laughs> the best advice that I received from a fellow rapper is do what the fuck you want and do what makes you happy. Literally in all caps and text message. Yachty told me that. I'm snitching. I'm snitching, right? I'm like, if I end up doing something, if I end up dropping my song, I'm blaming Yachty. Blame me, Yachty. Yachty told me to do it. Do with it.